The planned multi-billion dollar U.S. missile defense shield in Europe might not be able to protect America from possible Iranian airstrikes. The flaws were highlighted in classified studies made by the Defense Department prepared for a congressional briefing. For more on this, we are now joined live by Bruce Gagnon, a coordinator of the Global Network Against Weapons and Nuclear Power in Space. Uh, Bruce, thank you very much for being with us. Now, first, I mean, let's get right to this. If the complex is flawed, why is it still on the cards to be built in the first place? Well, first off, and most importantly, I don't think it was ever intended to protect against Iranian missiles, something, in fact, that, that, that do not even exist today. Iran has no nuclear weapons, nor do they have the capability to launch a missile all the way to the United States. So I think the missile, so-called missile defense system, which in fact One, is a key zero. part of U.S. first strike strategy, it's the shield to be used after the sword has lunged into the heart of Russian and Chinese nuclear forces. And clearly this missile defense system has always been about surrounding Russia and China. And that's why it doesn't, the math doesn't work when you look at uh, having it protect against an Iranian system. Now, one of the flaws that has been mentioned is the actual location of the system in Romania and Poland, something that we all know that Russia has been voicing their concerns about. Can we expect any changes on the location issue? I don't think so. In fact, as NATO is expanding uh, in its encirclement of Russia, I think we're only going to see more of these so-called, again, missile defense deployments into uh, various NATO countries. So I think the ones in Poland and Romania, and now there's a radar going into Turkey, these are going to stay, but I think attempts are going to be made to put these systems into places like Georgia and other countries very close to the Russian borders, which in fact is only going to increase tensions between the United States and Russia as is happening in China today, as the U.S. is encircling China with these same missile defense systems. The Aegis destroyers, the Navy destroyers that are outfitted with these missile defense interceptors are going to be put into the Black Sea, the Baltic Sea, Mediterranean Sea, uh, really uh, in, in increasing the encircle encirclement of Russia in the years ahead. Uh, and in fact, as the new generations of these interceptor missiles are built, they're going to become even more technologically sound, sophisticated, much faster, and well, that will only make the problem worse. Well, given that the billion, billions of dollars have already been spent on the system in its current state, it's now showing serious flaws, does it make sense to spend any more money on this? Will the U.S. invest more? Uh, I think it's uh, a bad uh, expenditure, of course, as our economy is collapsing here at home in the United States. We're wasting enormous amounts of money on the military-industrial complex. So clearly, I'm opposed to these systems. But looking at how this oligarchy runs our country today, how the corporations control our Congress, I think it's clear that Congress will continue to support these systems. The new Secretary of Defense that Obama has nominated, uh, Chuck Hagel, former Republican senator from Nebraska, was one of the co-sponsors in the Senate of the missile defense program. So he clearly is a strong ally of this system. Uh, and I think that he is being brought into uh, running the Pentagon because of, partly because of that uh, relationship. Uh, what we're seeing right now is some criticism uh, from the Republicans about the uh, about this particular system, but there's a competition going on for various missile defense projects. The Boeing Corporation has projects that the Bush administration favored. The Obama administration has favored ones that are being manufactured by Raytheon and General Dynamics. And so really, uh, what little uh, argument we see in the Congress is more about which corporations are going to get the big contracts in the years ahead. All right. Appreciate your thoughts on the subject. Bruce Gagnon, coordinator of the Global Network Against Weapons and Nuclear Power in Space, thank you for your thoughts on the subject. Thank you.